Okay, good morning year two, it's Miss Stearman here and it's Thursday, it's the 14th of May 2020 and it's day four of looking at the time. Let's have a look at our vocabulary. O'clock, half past, quarter past, quarter two, minute hand, hour hand, duration, past, two. Today we're learning to tell the time to five minutes. So yesterday we had a look at this. I think that we need to look at, a at it a little bit more today. So remember that practice makes permanent. So the more we practice, the permanent it stays in our brain, the longer it stays in our brain. Okay, so we're going to now have a look at this. Okay, so this is Mr. Barrett's ICT Games Clock Demonstrator, and it's very good to be able to understand past and to. So here I've got it click, I click this to say, yes, I want to see past and to. So what that means is that when I add five minutes, I can see that this time is past. So up to the six, this is past the hour. Then as I get past the six, this is going to the next hour. So imagine these, this clock in two halves. This is 30 minutes and this is past the hour. And this is another 30 minutes. So from the six to the 12 is another 30 minutes and it's going to the next hour. So if I just go back to the 12, oops. Okay, so we know that this minute hand counts around the clock in fives. So if I put this on to help us, you can see that there are 60 minutes. So when we get to the 12 again, it comes back to zero, but that's a 60 minutes. Okay, in total, there are 60 minutes in an hour. So this minute hand counts around the clock in fives. But if we're looking at telling the time using the words past and two, then we look at these numbers. So think about back to when I said imagine them as two 30 minutes. So this is five past, 10 past, 15 minutes past, 20 past, 25 minutes past, 30 minutes past. And then here, when it passes the six, we start to say two. So 25 minutes two. That means if I go to here, it's got 25 minutes until it's at the next hour, at the next o'clock. Okay, 20 minutes to, 15 minutes to, 10 minutes to, 5 minutes to, and then we're at the new hour. So I'm going to add in the hour hand. Okay, so here you can see that the time is, that's it, o'clock, and it's at the 8, so it's 8 o'clock. So if I press that, Okay, I've moved, I've added 15 minutes. So it's 15 minutes past, because it's in this half, eight, it's past eight. So 15 minutes has passed, so it's 15 minutes past eight. Okay, this one here, we can see that it's pointing to the four, which is 20 minutes. Now if you didn't have these, then you can count from zero, zero, five, 10, 15, 20 minutes past, 20 minutes past eight. Okay, okay, this one. So you can see it's past six, so it's now going towards the next hour, which is nine. Okay, so it's past half past eight, and we're now thinking about the next hour, which is nine o'clock. So you can see it that it's got 25 minutes to the next hour, which is nine o'clock. So it's 25 minutes to nine. And this one here. That's it, so it's got 10 minutes left, so it's 10 minutes to nine, or 10 to nine. Okay, so this is really useful to have a go at adding on minutes and then seeing if you can tell the time. Okay, using the words past and to. So what I'd like you to do, or well, we're going to have a go first, we're going to have a go at this game. It's also an ICT's game, and it's called Hickory Dickory. And it's a clock, and it's about mice going to the correct time. So you can see here, we've got the time that we want to 
which clock it is. So matching this to the right clock. So it says 25 minutes to 12. So which one is showing 25 minutes to 12? If you've had a go at this and you've really secured this part, then have a look at this. So which one? Let's look at the minute hand. So it's 25 minutes to. So we know it's past the six. So which one says 25 minutes to? Well, this one is half past. So that says half, so that's not right. This one says 25 minutes. Let's check. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes to 11. Oh, so it's got the 25 minutes. So we've got that bit. But it's going towards the 11. We want it to go towards the 12, so it's not this one. So let's check with this one. It's got the same minute hand as this one, so it's 25 minutes, and it's going towards the 12. It's 25 minutes to 12, so it's this one. You click it, and then the mice gets the cheese. And then for the next one, you click on the arrow. Half past 12. So I'm looking at my minute hand being at the 6 or half past. So I've got two clocks here with half past. But which one says half past 12? Is this one? No, it's between the 11 and the 12, so it's past the 11. So it's half past 11, and this one is half past, and it's past the 12, half past 12. So it's this one. Good job. Okay, we'll have one more go. 20 minutes to 8. 20 minutes to 8. So we're looking at 20 minutes to, so it's past the 6, so it's going towards the next hour. So this one, let's ha see how many minutes left to the next hour. 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 minutes to, but it's going towards the 7, so that's 20 minutes to 7, so that's not right. Let's have a look at this one. So we've still got the minute hand on the 8. So it's 20 minutes to, and it's going towards the 8, 20 minutes to 8. So it's this middle one here. But why is it not this one? Ah, so this one's at the 7, so there's 25 minutes to 8. But that's why it's not. Okay, so it's this one. Okay, fantastic. So when you've had a go at this, and you've had a go at the game, and you're really confident, this is the app activity that I would like you to have a go at. So I've got some clocks here and I've written numbers 1 to 12. So each of these times are telling the time to 5 minutes. So what I'd like you to do in your book is to draw a line down your page, divide it into two and write past and two at the top of your page. Okay. So we're going to sort these times into whether it's a past time or a two time. Now you can see there are two pictures here. This one is a challenge. This one is to be able to write the time as well. So this one here just sorted the numbers into whether it's past or two. So I've looked at clock number one and I know it's before the six, so it's before half past, so it's a past time. So I put one in past. Number two, is also a past time because it hasn't quite reached the six yet. So it's 25 past four. So I put it in this column. Number three, it's going towards the next hour. So it's a two time. So I put it in this column. And for the same, I've done another waggle but with the challenge. And I've written the time that the clock is showing. So we know that this one's a past time because it's it's in this half of the circle. It's the first half before the six, before half past. And I know it's five past, five minutes past, and it's past the three, or slightly, it's not quite. So five past three. Okay, so you've got this option here, or you've got the challenge option here. Okay, remember to send in your pictures and don't forget to ask questions if you have any. Okay, good luck with telling the time to five minutes.